Shalom, all praises to Yahweh, Bashem, El Shai, Bashem, and Rakak with us. Double honors unto the apostles and elders of great millstone of all well, and Shalom to the whole for that. This is Paya Allah. This is news and prophecy, prophecy and news. Uh, update. The date today is the 15th of July, 2023, the whole full year. All right. And, um,. If you're not familiar, you know, this is um, a required uh, thing of our faith, our salvation, to watch as well as pray. So in watching and standing upon the watchtower, there's specific threats that you have to look out for, or, or more so not threats, uh, for the sake of the analogy, there's certain um, signs you have to look out for. And um, those signs are that mainly spoken of throughout all of the course of the Bible. But you find them specifically in um, Matthew 24, Luke 21, Mark 13, uh, 2nd Ezra 15, 16, 9, on and on. There's many scriptures that really go into the prophetic words of the signs that we ought to look for. So those signs that are being shown show us they what time we're in because as it tells you Solomon wrote the widest the widest king to ever rule all right wrote that there's a time and a season for everything under the sun and Ecclesiastes the third chapter so just as you you know you you check the weather or you might look out your window and see that it's raining you know that you might have to put on boots grab an umbrella you see outside that sun is shining it's really hot you, you're going to grab some maybe flip-flops and some shorts or a vest or whatever have you, all right? So the weather, the signs of the times determine how you ought to move, and it's the same in this time. Uh, knowing that, you know, the, the signs basically show to getting ready for the return of our Lord, all right? And these, these few articles that I've got are going to basically show that. So this is the first one from the inside of .com. Tauri's body cam recording catches cops investigating potential UFO, all right, unidentified flying object crash. Hey, if those nine foot beings come back, don't call us, all right? <laughs> and, um, no, this may be true. This may be um, a psyop. It may be, you know, whatever it is. But for the point, I'm just going to take it upon face value of it's a sign, all right? Because we surely are in those times, all right? They call it an unidentified flying object. Also, they have the updated um, name of UAP, Unidentified Aerial Phenomena. I think they actually updated that as well, had another name. But um, the reason why this is, you know, this is being pushed is because these are the vehicles that the Heavenly Father's angels and the Heavenly Father himself sits in one as well so this, this is a very royal and regal thing that's being shown on the earth so i'm just gonna fly through it um you can read it um for the most part right so <laughs> So it says, just before midnight on April 30th, the American Meteor Society received 21 reports of a fireball streaking across the southwest from a late night cyclist in northeast Utah to illuminate a video from Reno doorbell camera. But where did it land? CBS affiliate, affiliate KLAS obtained the recording of a 911 call a Las Vegas family made to report a crash flying saucer in the Northwest Valley backyard. I swear to God, this is no joke. This is actually, we are terrified, and Mel Caller uh, tells a dispatcher on recording. Going on to describe the vehicle's two occupants, two times subject, subject are 10 11 tall, musk green, uh, tan, cold skin, eyes, naked. The dispatcher's notes from the call read, 
Um, after several of the man's family members corroborated co- his account, two police officers were sent to the scene. I'm so nervous right now, one of the cops says in the fo- footage obtained by KL- KLAS. I have butterflies, bro. I saw a shooting star. Now these people say there's aliens in their backyard. After that, the police arrive at the home. They can be seen talking to witnesses, none of whom seem to be under the influence. KLAS reported. What did you see? One officer asked. It was a. It was like a big cigarette. A witness replies, a big creature. The officer continues. Yeah, more than ten feet tall. The witness answers. Body cam video shows one officer entering the backyard to investigate, but it is partly blocked out due to privacy laws. KLAS reported. All right. So it says you guys seem like legit scared, so I don't blame you. An officer tells one of the witnesses <laughs> one of the witnesses before asking a passenger in a passing car, this might sound like a really dumb question, but did you guys see anything fall out of the sky? I would normally discount it as probably not real. But however, seeing as one of my partners said they saw they saw it too, the only reason I'm investigating it. Uh, the only reason that I'm in guess investigating it further. While sources told KOAS that it's likely that something crashed in the backyard, exactly what made the circular imprints that can be seen in this drone photo is unknown. All right, so basically, you know, for the sake of whether, like like I said, whether it's real or fake, um, Heavenly Father showing his hand or prophetic, uh, um, through prophecy or sigh upon the east or side that's neither here nor there I'll just take it for the point of this is a vibration that's been pushed and the heavenly father only put it out there it's been pushed out there whether it be on the left hand side or the right hand side for the sake of him showing his strength alright you can't do nothing against the truth but only for it so let me grab a few scriptures just to back up this point um do 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 okay um, let me just read this. All right. So there's the book of Zechariah 5 and 1. Then I turned and lifted up mine eyes and looked, and behold, a flying roll, just like they saw. And he said unto me, What seest thou? And I answered, I see a flying roll, the length thereof is twenty cubits, and the breadth thereof is ten cubits. Then said he unto me, This is the curse that goeth forth over the face of the whole earth. All right, so this is a curse that's presently, this is the beings of the Heavenly Father. All right, anything that's a beauty, I mean, the Heavenly Father showing himself should be a beautiful thing, but the, the fact that we're in the time of Job 9 and 24, the earth being given to the hand of the wicked, shows that things have been turned upside down. All right, so something that's meant to be for a blessing, the Heavenly Father showing himself, just like how the Israelites came out of Egypt with the chariot over them, going as a as a cloud by day and a pillar of fire by night, it was a blessing. This being everything being flipped on its head, all right. It's a curse now to these people because it was a curse back then as well. All right, they they were all terrified any time they saw Israel coming with the, the great chariot above them or before them. For everyone that stealeth shall be cut off, as on this side according to it. And everyone that sweareth shall be cut off as that side according to it. I will bring it forth, saith the Lord Jehovah of hosts, and shall enter into the house of the thief, and into the house of him that sweareth falsely by my name, Esau Edom, the so called white man as he's known today, and it shall be and it shall remain in the midst of the house, and shall consume it with the timber thereof and the stones thereof. There you go. Alright, so for the most part I'll just read that. Um so let's move on. So it says Elon Musk. It's another article from the Daily Star or DailyStar.co.uk. It says Elon Musk claims people are already cyborgs as memory as our memory is outsourced to computers. And I believe this is this is more like a 
you know, trying to twang you, basically. Twang, manipulate your mind, all right, to make you think, yeah, you know, that's true. It's even funny, because I'm telling you, this Daily Star, certain newspaper sources from the UK that actually push this kind of information, if you're from here and you're of a certain generation, you'd be like, Daily Star, that's not credible. You just keep it moving. Right, even I just see now the 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 the, the individual that wrote the journal overnight editor. I mean, let me not even. It seems kind of pay, but it's just overnight. You work nights. It ain't even like real news kind of thing. But anyway, let me read on. So it says the Tesla CEO took to Twitter to claim that humans have already turned to, into cyborgs because we re- rely on technology too much with our memory overwhelmingly outsourced to computers. Right. And really, these um, algorithms that they utilise on the internet, dealing with the social media and whatnot, is really to uh, overstimulate you to basically um, open up so much information. Because I even see there's one of these, um, one of these um, podcasts over here, one of your local um, gangsters or reform gangsters sitting down with another individual... And they're basically talking about how much they like will post stuff on socials and, and it'll be like shots in the dark at their ops and whatnot, things of that nature. And it's kind of like these men are grown men, but they're, they're kind of beefing on online. Why? Because it feels like somewhere you can just put it out there. And that's just to show you, like, the, the even with all the music nowadays and the social media, the internet, it plays a big part in the criminal underworld nowadays. And that's really by design. Because Esau wants all of his all of your information on the algorithm so he can then utilize it and take advantage of it according to his means and only play God. Alright? So this is really to make you more comfortable into what the easing into the idea of man and machine merging and only taking that MOTB, alright, that infamous rice grain. So it says, Elon Musk has claimed that people are already cyborgs as our memories outsourced to computers. The Tesla SpaceX CEO took to Twitter to make the shocking claim in a response to a question posed but to Mark Anderson's AMA, Ask Me Anything. Anderson is an entrepreneur and software engineer as well as the co-founder and general partner in Anderson Horowitz, Horowitz a Silicon Valley venture capital firm that backs bold entrepreneurs building the future through technology. All right. He tweeted, ask, let me, can I, just trying to build a story. All right. Uh, so a Twitter user proceeded to ask him, is anyone calculating metrics for how much you are already AI? That's when Moss chimed in and answered, good question, we are already cyborgs. Our memories overwhelmingly outsourced to computers. They remember everything with with extreme precision down to the pixel, all right? And that's, even though right now AI, when you see AI-generated images, they look like AI-generated images. But he's kind of making, he's being, you know, these words are allowing him to be the forerunner, all right? Or, yeah, the forerunner for when AI will look, you know, Undistinguishable, indistinguishable from real life. All right, and why am I saying this? Um, it's a lot, man. I forgot my point, man. Let me read on. Our thinking is much less. Uh, our thinking is much less outsourced, as there are still many things we can do that AI cannot. For now, he, like I said, that's the same point. He also asks his. This is his question under Anderson's tweet. How many years do we have before AI kills us all? The billionaire has historically spoken out against AI, telling the Wall Street Journal's four, four old, four old uh, Barker that the technology has a small likelihood, likelihood of annihilate, annihilating humanity inside a reported. All right, so let's read some scriptures. This is Matthew twenty four and twenty two, and except those days should be shortened, there should be no flesh 
uh, be saved. But for the elect's sake, those days shall be shortened. Yeah, so as they mentioned with the AI technology, all right, that's one of many factors at play in this modern day and age and ESO's rule that we're dealing with because there's so many forms of pollution, um, incorrect ways of living that are basically being administered by the powers that be that ultimately lead to death and will destroy the earth will spin off its axis, basically, if these things are allowed to continue to go forward. But for the sake of the elect and everything that's spoken of for the elect, the days are going to be shortened. And that's why time is is going so fast, all right, because it's for the elect's, elect's sake to get to the end. That's why it also says on, on the left-hand side of things, it says, um, Revelation 12 and 12, the devil knowing that he has a short time cometh down with great wrath. All right, so when you're seeing all these accelerated plans moving moving forward, you know, with warp speed, that's because, you know, he's feeling the pressure on the left-hand side too, okay? Um, do, 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 do. I'll read this scripture as well. I will give you more scriptures, but I'm kind of on a timer. I can't flesh these out as much as I'd like to. Uh, you can read from the top, but I'm going to just get to the point in verse 6. Everything highlighted is good. But I'm going to read from verse 6 to get to the point. Ezekiel 28 and 6. Therefore, thus saith the Lord power, Yahweh, because thou hast set thine heart as the heart of the Most High. Yeah, this is speaking about Esau, Edom, Otherwise known as a so-called white man, right? His mind is geared towards what being like the the mind the mind of the heavenly father. That's why you know Elon saying what he's saying. That's the point I was gonna say. Let's not forget that he's actually behind Neuralink as well, which is about what putting a C hip in the minds of people to give them you know to allow them to tap into miracles on the left hand side, all right as well as them to download information from your brain, all right? They they say that they can download your mind, and then when you die, they can upload you into a new body. When they have no power of the spirit, they may be able to, you know, even through their, their false, false, false sorts of miracles, like build an algorithm that thinks just like you, which they showed you in the movie, uh, the TV series Black Mirror, where the woman lost her husband and basically pulled all the information of her husband from the internet, anything she gave them and all that type of stuff, and they made a carbon copy of him, all right, for him to be in their life still. But in reality, the Heavenly Father is the, is the father of spirits. So once, you know, the Heavenly Father calls that spirit up, it's, it's a wrap. The only way Esau can have any form of dealing with it is if the Heavenly Father says you're allowed to, all right? So reading on verse 7. Uh, behold therefore I will bring strangers upon thee the terrible of the nations and they shall draw their swords against the beauty of thy wisdom right which only is them ICBMs because they got blessed with that great sword and that's why it also says my sword shall be bathed in heaven because as it tells Isaiah 54 16 tells you that the heavenly sorry yeah that the heavenly father basically you know gave the smiths an instrument you know onto them and um ultimately it's gonna be you know they that live by the sword shall die by the sword and it's gonna def it's gonna you know be against their wisdom and they shall defy defile thy brightness so all of that that they hope to do is gonna be put to a put to an abrupt end so this last article I got this is from charisma mag dot com and the title reads, WEF official calls for the AI to rewrite the Bible correctly, which is very cheeky, all right? He's a, this is a naughty, a very naughty individual to say something like that, all right? Because, mate, you couldn't even rewrite your day if you wanted to. So you you to try to rewrite history. It's crazy, all right? But this shows you the devil being the devil, all right? He's being... Unleashed for a season. And he's doing according to the Heavenly Father's will. The foundation of Christ the Christian faith is the f form. Is that 
the information contained within the Bible is a spirit inspired inherent inherent word of the most high and we know Christianity faith is not based upon the Bible it's it's influenced somewhat by the Bible but it's really um I, I won't say influence I say they use bits of the Bible to authenticate their belief all right so they'll say something like for example you can eat pork and the way they'll authenticate their belief is by way of going to um acts 11 i believe it is acts 10 with the you know the 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 four clock four 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 edge clock i can't remember it four edge cloth coming down on to um peter and basically um, saying he can eat of all of the things upon it. That'll be a, one of the means, but that that's not what it means, right? If you understand the Bible and you put all the precepts together, you know, as King David said, through that precepts, I get understanding, you would know that the true understanding is that of something else, all right? But let me jump down because it's just built. I'll just get to the point. Uh... So it says here, during a recent interview with journalist Pedro Pinto in Lisbon, Portugal, Harari discussed the idea of using emerging technology as such as artificial intelligence to create new ideas that are correct, All right? Quote unquote correct. It's the first technology ever that can rewrite, that can create new ideas. You know, the print and press, radio, television, they broadcast they spread the ideas created by the human brain, by the human mind. They cannot create a new idea, says Harari. Which is ridiculous, all right? Because I did read an article recently where they were saying that everything the AI is doing is drawn from um, the internet and through and has a bias attached to it through certain things that are seen on the internet, all right? So it's really greatly influenced by the minds of humans, all right? You know, Joan, Jonas Gutenberg printed the Bible in the middle, middle of the 15th century. The print and press printed as many copies of the Bible as Gutenberg instructed it, but it did not create a single new page, continues Harari. It had no ideas of its own about the Bible. Is it good? Is it is it bad? How to interpret this? how to interpret that an AI, an AI can create new ideas it can even write a new bible Harari declares All right and this is a crazy thing because there's you know there's a Jake with a video out where he asked um AI tech to basically show I forget how to word it correctly but basically um AI tech to interpret the book of revelations or something like that and the interpretation was sound, all right? So the the fact that this man is calling for AI to actually create a whole new Bible, but an AI has already been asked to have a take on a Bible, and it, it was it was that of the times that we're in, really just shows that there's some foul play here, all right? Throughout history, religions dreamt about having a book written by a superhuman, uh, by a superhuman intelligence, by a non-human entity, so this even really shows you, again, moving more into the miracles of Esau. Because why? This man is saying that all of these things before were imagined. And it's true for the most part. But the Heavenly Father gave divine inspiration through his men. In a few years, they uh, there might be religions that are actually correct. Just think about a religion whose holy book is written by an AI. That could be a reality in a few years, he states. This is not the first time that Arari has drawn the airy, the airy of Chris, uh, Christians with his comparisons to humanity being godlike in their ability to create. In a previous video, Arari uh, claimed humans are now hackable and that the pandemic brought surveillance into the human body itself. See, this man is a true devil, man, because he's really just pushing an agenda. 
Also, we see the change in na- in the nature of the of surveillance. Previously, surveillance was mainly above the skin. Harari says now it's going under the skin. Governments to know want to know not just where you, we go or where we meet or who we meet. Above all, they want to know what's happening under our skin. Even as Christians are wary, an evil fit or even fearful of Harari's vision. Our new scripture or for new scriptures using AI as a controlling device for major population groups. He is really a pawn in a much bigger game being played on a spiritual level. All right. Satan wants people to introduce new ways of finding God, alternate venues that sidestep the already written word. Simple and plain. All right. So I believe this is from a Christian source because it's talking about spiritual warfare and things of that nature quote the scriptures but let's read a bit to kind of bring it home so it's the book of Revelation 21 and I saw an angel come down from heaven having a key of the bottomless pit and a great chain in his hand and he laid hold on that dragon that old serpent which is the devil and Satan and bound him a thousand years and cast him into the bottomless pit Right, talking about Esau, Edom, right? The old serpent, everything that, you know, speaks to his times upon the earth, all right, is bound during the time of the Dark Ages. And that's why the name of Middle Ages has, you know, the flip side of it, uh, the other side of being Dark Ages because it was dark to Esau, Edom, all right? Job 30 tells you what they were doing during that time, all right? Basically, were abased greatly to the fact, to the point where they were grunting, as a form of communication and cast him into the bottomless pit and shut him up and set a seal upon him that he should that he should deceive the nation no more till a thousand years should be fulfilled and after that he must be loosed a little season and we're in that little season all right so this is the book of malachi one and four so I'll start from one actually. The burden of the word of the Lord Yahweh to Israel by Malachi. I have loved you, saith the Lord Yahweh, yet ye say, Wherein hast thou loved us? Was not Esau Jacob's brother? Saith the Lord Yahweh, yet I loved Jacob, and I hated Esau, and laid his mountains and his heritage waste for the dragons of the wilderness. Whereas Edom saith, We are impoverished, but we will return. All right, so that's after that thousand year period. After being impoverished, eating juniper's root. All right, but we will return and build the desolate places. That's why you see the architecture made coming back in us, in in a big way with all the invention of skyscrapers, as well as the Roman. You go down to Capitol Hill over in the United United States, over in the United Kingdom. You come over, to go to the city of London. You see the architecture that have reared up being that of um Roman, um Greco Roman. And also as well as Egyptian um, throwbacks. So it says, We are impoverished, but we will return and build the desolate places. For saith the Lord, Yahweh of hosts, they shall build, but I will throw down, they shall call them the border of wickedness, and the people against whom the Lord shall have indignation forever. All right? So this is only where it's going to go to. The Heavenly Father is going to have it where he's going to throw it down because it's going to be known as a border of wickedness. And the things that are being done, like this guy mentioning the changing of the word of the book, all right, which is leading to what Amos 8 and 11, about a famine of hearing of the word, all right, as well as... Um, there's another scripture coming to mind. Uh, Yeah, Daniel seven twenty five, and he shall speak great words against the Most High, and shall wear out the saints of the Most High, and think to change times and laws, and they shall be given into his hand until a time and a times and the dividing of time. All right, which speaks to. I'll move on actually because it's not relevant to the point. 
Well, the, the first points are right that Esau's flipped turn the world on his head. So I'll read this to close out on all right. Uh So you can read from 12, because it gets to the point, it speaks about how, you know, he uses the power of the former beast. And, you know, I'll read from 14 to the point in, like, 18 or so. Well, the point is all throughout the course. Revelation 13, 14, and deceivers them that dwell on the earth by means of those miracles which he had power to do in the sight of the beast, saying to them that dwell on the earth that they should make an image of the beast, which should which had the wound by a sword and did live. And that's just, uh, any time I read this, it's like, I just think of the image of um, Nebuchadnezzar in Daniel's the second chapter, or Daniel the second chapter, where he reared up the statue. I believe it's in Daniel 2. Oh no, Daniel's 4, I believe. All right. Um, no, they made an image with similar with this time. There's a way to worship this beast. All right. So it says, verse 16, and he calls of all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. And that no man might buy or sell, save ye that have the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. Herod's wisdom, let him that have understanding count the number of the beast, for his number of a man. And his number is six hundred three score and six. Alright, so that's that. So with that man I pray edified. You know, that's talking about the C hip, right? Which ultimately AI and you know, is like part of the software base of along with um the blockchain and all these things. Uh the so the software form of um the new world order and the hardware form is that like C hip. Right, that the infamous uh, right screen, all right. So yeah, with that, I pray you're edified to the next one. Say shalom, shalom.